focusing on swimmers because those swimmers that would have arrived in Houston if they didn't get pulled off the flight, the developing story we're talking about this morning. Yeah, Anusha Rasta live at Bush Airport. The plane landed 30 minutes ago without the swimmers. And Anusha, I guess uh, I'm hearing you spoke with someone who saw them uh, being asked to leave the plane. What'd you hear? Oh, and that's right. That person told me that he was uh, sitting next to someone who noticed that somebody tall who looked like an Olympic swimmer, who recognized him as an Olympic swimmer, was being asked by one police officer to get off the plane. So he describes that for us. He says that the police officer came on uh, to the airplane, asked that guy to pick up his stuff and to get off the plane. So the gentleman took his water bottle uh, and exited the plane. We do not know which Olympic swimmer uh, it was though, but you're looking at video right now of two uh, American swimmers uh, leaving the airport in Rio de Janeiro uh, being asked to go to the police station so they can be further questioned about this uh, very strange street robbery story. Um, Ryan Lochte, Gunnar Bentz, uh, UT swimmer Jack Conger, and James Fegan of San Antonio, these are the four swimmers who reported that they were robbed at gunpoint in Rio. And so uh, we are told that two of those swimmers um, were pulled off the flight, those two uh, swimmers, Conger and Bentz. So now let's hear from that witness we talked to, the guy that was on that flight from Rio that came into Houston, hear what he had to say about what he saw regarding one of the Olympic swimmers getting pulled off that flight. They came and escorted him off the plane. And did you catch the guy's name? I did not. He, he didn't even sit him. down. He never he, sat down? He never sat down. He was just, he was just tall. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's okay. He was just tall. Of course, everybody for me is tall. So uh, he was just tall, and they just took him off the plane. And Conger, Bentz, and Fegan, again, are still in Rio. They are being questioned by investigators who are skeptical about their story of the street robbery. They are claiming that the facts just don't add up, and so they have to remain in Brazil, according to their attorneys, for as long as it takes uh, for police to sort this all out. Meanwhile, Ryan Lochte is reportedly back in the United States. He was asked to answer questions as well, but he had already uh, made his way back to the U.S. Reporting live from Bush Airport, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News.